If you've been waiting for a sign, some signal to change your course, to accomplish things you only dreamed of, then it's time to find the people who have done just that. These are blind people who have transformed their lives into something ordinary. At the Louisiana Center for the Blind, we help people live ordinary lives in extraordinary ways. Today as never before, blind people are leading ordinary productive lives. While there are many reasons, one of the most important is the role that blind people are now playing in changing their own destiny. Through self-organization in the National Federation of the Blind, we're changing the course of services and programs available to us. The Louisiana Center for the Blind is a 24-hour residential training facility where students come for six to nine months. The curriculum includes braille, cane travel, computer literacy, home economics, industrial arts, independent living skills, job development, GED preparation, and college readiness. All of our classes emphasize the development of self-confidence and a positive attitude toward blindness. The Louisiana Center for the Blind was started because at the time there was not a training center in the state for blind people. They had to receive training out of state. There is no one person, there's no one type of student. Our students come from all walks of life, come from all backgrounds, different ages, different educational levels, different experiences. Some of our students have been blind since birth or since early childhood. Other students come to us recently after losing their vision. There was a huge need for quality training, for training that not only provided the skills of blindness, but also challenge people to confront their fears and misconceptions about blindness so that they can truly excel. I didn't know any blind people in all the images of blind people that I had seen from television and different things was all negative, so I just thought that I would end up like that. I didn't really think I could do anything I wanted as a blind person. I was, you know, always told that I could be a DJ or, you know, something like that. But I always wanted more. You know, I've been blind all my life, so my feelings about blindness were acceptance mostly, um, but a feeling of knowing that adequacy wasn't good enough as far as my skills and confidence were concerned. We're truly changing people's lives. And because of the dedication of our staff and their tireless efforts to help our students succeed, the Louisiana Center for the Blind truly makes a difference. I have had training before coming to LCD, um, but the training methods that I had were very different. The way I was taught to travel was by being given routes to memorize and I was not taught very much about how to come up with my own mental map of a place where I was and I also wasn't taught very much about finding unfamiliar addresses and using unfamiliar buses and that sort of thing. I didn't feel that those teachers had the passion that the teachers at the LCB have for helping students make the best out of themselves. I've never really seen that level of passion and the level of dedication. Another key element of our program is the importance of blind role models. It is critical in shaping attitudes about blindness that a person has positive blind role models with whom they can relate. Role models provide mentoring, they provide encouragement, they provide support. The blind role models at LCB inspired me in my training they inspired me to challenge myself to just know that I was okay and that they were okay with me. They had to go through the same things that I'm going through right now and I see where they are today and that gives me hope for the future. Our staff believes strongly in the capabilities of blind people, believes in the philosophy of the National Federation of the Blind and is truly dedicated to helping students replace their negative attitudes about blindness with a positive outlook. It really built my confidence up because I was looking at these people and they was blind and 
and and they was teaching me things that I didn't think that they can do themselves. Blind role models exemplify the training. They exemplify the normal lives that can be lived. There's, there's, they're such great examples. We believe that the long cane is a symbol of freedom. Too often, a cane is a, has a negative connotation in society. Many blind people are apprehensive about using a cane initially, but we believe that learning how to use a cane to travel independently gives a person true freedom. I feel, you know, you know, embarrassed and, and, and was ashamed of it, but once, you know, I, I learned and I trained and, and learned what the cane was for and how, you know, it, it, it helped me. And, and it's like the cane became my friend, you know. I don't like to do sighted God and there's times when I just have to go and do things and I can't be waiting on my mom to bring me here or there. So I have to know how to use my cane and it just makes me feel better that I know I can do it. Any student who comes to our program with any amount of usable vision wears sleep shades. Of course, initially, they are apprehensive and somewhat anxious about wearing sleep shades. However, as they gain confidence and as they increase proficiency in their skills, our students realize that they no longer need to be afraid. They learn to trust non-visual techniques so that when they finish our program, they can combine the vision they have and the non-visual techniques to truly function. Oftentimes our students who have usable vision come to us and relying on that vision is not safe nor is it efficient. So wearing sleep shades offer them, offers them the opportunity to gain that confidence as well as master of the skills of blindness. I always tell people I have enough vision just to get in trouble with. Having the practice with the sleep shades does help. Um, even though sometimes I do find it a nuisance, but it's invaluable. In addition to teaching skills of blindness, we help our students truly believe in themselves. We focus on increasing self-confidence so that when our students graduate, they are ready for any challenge they may face. Computers help me to gain my independence because when you're Given an assignment, even if you come in with some knowledge of computers and you think, oh my gosh, I don't know how to format, <laughs> it's really a liberating feeling to realize, hey, I can really do this. It's very important to be able to know the computer so you could keep up with the sighted world on that level of technology. Cane travel is challenging for me, but it is also rewarding for me, knowing that I can get up at any time of the day and go virtually anywhere I want to go. The most important thing I'm learning in cane travel is definitely how to problem solve and realize that if I get in myself in a tricky situation, I also know how to get out of it. The most important thing I've learned in cane travel is how to find addresses because we do a lot of running errands and going places and it's important to know where things are and how to orientate yourself. You know, one thing that really for lack of a better word, opened my eyes, was the first time I used um, the radio alarm saw in shop. That was um, a really interesting experience because not only was I using a power tool of that magnitude for the first time, but the person who was teaching me was wearing sleep shades and couldn't see at all. And I remember thinking, wow, this is, that's it? And you know, I, I guess I'd almost been conditioned to think, you know, there was something else that you know, you, you probably had to see to be able to do it better, but there's, it's not at all. And it just made me realize that there's probably, a, you know, I know there's a whole, um, many, you know, there's many things like that. As I go along in Woodshop, I'm finding that I'm more comfortable with using power tools such as a radio arm saw and a table saw and, you know, whereas before I probably would have said, oh, I can't do that, I'm blind, you know, I'm blind, there's no way, I wouldn't be comfortable. Um, and I find that it spills over to, into other areas of my daily routine and my life as a blind person. At the LCB, everybody is required to learn Braille. It helps me comprehend what I'm reading. It improves my spelling, and it also improves my literacy. I knew Braille before I came, but when I came, I was probably about average speed, and now I'm, I can read a lot faster. In our cooking class, we're going to be having to make a meal for 40. 
and most of my sighted friends who I told about that assignment had never done something like that before. Home ec is important for me because I want to be able to cook meals not just for myself and not just things I like, but learn how to cook things for other people as well. I feel that I'm able to help my wife maintain the household better than when I first enrolled in LCB. Ours is not an 8 to 5 program. We believe that our students need to be immersed fully in a positive philosophy about blindness. So in addition to learning in the classroom, we develop opportunities outside of class on evenings and weekends for our students and our staff to interact and to realize that the skills they are learning work in a variety of environments. Our students go rock climbing, we go whitewater rafting, we travel to New Orleans for Mardi Gras, a wide variety of activities to meet the interests of our students and also to challenge them and to help them realize that the skills they are gaining through their training off will offer them opportunities to live in their communities and to participate in activities when they return home. The thing I enjoyed it was actually climbing to the top of the ridge is when I would climb the walls and knowing I could make it. Boy, this is freedom. I could go anywhere. LCB has really given me a sense of empowerment. You know, if I can climb a mountain, I can do anything. When we went to Mardi Gras in New Orleans, I was blown away by the experience of being in the middle of all those people and being able to walk through there with sleep shades and and be a part of something I'd never experienced before. The first time I went grocery shopping by myself, it seems like a really small thing, but it's a big step when you realize, you know, when I want something, I can go get it, and I don't have to wait for anybody else, and, you know, I'm in control of that. At the Louisiana Center for the Blind, we truly believe that we provide extraordinary training so that people can live ordinary lives. I feel like I can handle things on my own, and that's a wonderful feeling. I can manage I can manage my own finances, I can manage my own household, I can manage my own schedule. I feel the most important thing was just the I can do anything attitude. Once I got past the feel, you know, and I got past the part that I can't do it, now, now I'm able to walk, you know, to my apartment, back from forth. I'm beginning to do a lot of other stuff that I thought I couldn't do. Students in our program live in apartments. The apartments are about half a mile from the classroom building. The wonderful thing about living in an apartment is that it allows a student the chance to practice skills such as cooking, cleaning, grocery shopping, doing laundry, all the skills that they, the student will need once they graduate from our program. In addition to addressing skills of blindness training, we also provide our students with the opportunity to truly change their attitudes about their blindness, to replace the stigma that's so often associated with blindness in our society, and to offer a different way of looking at blindness so that they see their blindness as merely a characteristic. You know, my eyes are brown, my hair is brown, I've never been able to see, it's a characteristic that I have, and you know, there's obviously things that go along with that, but I try not to let that become too important in my life. I don't let my life revolve around my blindness. I have things to do and I'm going to do it, and it doesn't matter if I'm blind or not. You know, blindness to me is just, you know, a part of who I am. It's, it's just there, you know, it's not anything to be amazed or courageous or, you know, special. It's just, it is what it is. You can be creative, you can be innovative, and blindness is just a factor in your life, just as how old you are, how much money you have, or how much education you have. You have to go on with the business of living life, and blindness is just a part of who you are, but it doesn't define who you are. We help our students realize that blindness does not have to limit their success, that they can truly live independently, be active members of their communities, become employed, go to college, participate in social and recreational activities, raise families, do all the things that are so important to success and happiness. My plan is after I finish training, I plan to go to college so I could get a job. I would like to become a teacher. I go to work every day and I tell them I have a lot to be thankful for. 
It doesn't matter how much they throw at me. I say, throw your best pitch. I'll hit the ball out of the park every time. I'm going to be getting married <laughs> after I graduate. I'm going to do some voluntary service for my church for a while. And after that, I'm going to go back to college. I intend to enter a PhD program in social psychology and become trained as an academic researcher and a university professor. Being a single parent with three teenagers at home, I just tell them at work, now my real job starts. It's a part of life. I'm not going to give up on my kids, just like I'm not going to give up on my job or myself. Life is busy and there will always be distractions, there will always be challenges, but the time to come for training is today, the time is now. You always have to ask yourself, am I really competing in a world that believes I can be an equal part of it or am I just getting by in a world that is making allowances for me because I'm blind? So you look at, you look at the things other people do and you wonder if you're, you want to know if you're really measuring up and doing the things that they're doing. Why let another day of your life go by without seeing what, how limitless your life can be? Just do it. Don't, don't hesitate. Life is not over with, you know, because, I mean, this place, is, it really did something to my life. You couldn't ask for a better training center. I believe it's important for everyone who comes here to make the most of their six to nine months so that they don't need to come back later and get retrained. That's another problem with other centers is that often the training that they give is only specific to particular circumstances. So if somebody loses more vision or they move or something new changes in their life, they have to go back. And we want to be high achieving, productive adults. We don't want to keep having to quit our jobs and leave our families and go back for training. You might be selling yourself short or um, you know, setting yourself up for a life that isn't as full as it could be with training. The wonderful thing about our program is that it works for everybody regardless of your circumstance. It's an opportunity for, for someone to come to really challenge their fears, to confront their misconceptions about blindness, and to realize that they can live a normal life, a productive life, and give back to their community. Coming to LCB is a very uh, challenging, rewarding, and um, growing experience. LCB became a, a, something like a extended family to me because it offered me a lot of love, you know, something that I really needed at that time, it's where you can come and, and gain back your self-confidence, you know. I've gained so much confidence in myself and I've been able to learn how to give back to other people. It would be something that you will always be thankful for. Always. You're going to have to do a lot of hard work and you're going to have to push yourself. You will own what you learn. I mean, basically, you get out of this program what you put into it. Some days it just seems too hard. Other, other days you just, you're amazed at how far you've come and also how much you still need to grow. The training that people get at the LCB is very valuable to their lives. And it's only a short time. So, a short time for a very for lifelong results. They're the best thing that ever happened to me. Ever. You're just blind. You're just normal like everyone else. The only difference is your eyes don't work. Blindness is not a tragedy. With proper training in the skills of blindness, exposure to positive blind role models, as well as high expectations, blindness does not limit a person's ability to succeed. In addition to offering adjustment training through the Louisiana Center for the Blind, we also have outreach programs for blind infants, summer programs for children and teens, special services for seniors, and often host seminars and workshops for the entire family. We also play an important role in the professional development of personnel working with the blind. If you'd like further information on any of our programs, or if you'd like to help by making a tax-deductible contribution, please contact us at 1-800-234-4166 or info at lcb-ruston.com. You can also visit our website at www.lcb-ruston.com 
That's lcb-ruston.com. Come and be a part of the growing number of people who are living ordinary lives because of the extraordinary training of the Louisiana Center for the Blind.